Allie from Love Hooks, and I'm here with the incredible Sarah Pat from Creative Soul Strive. Hi! And today we're going to be playing a round of cauliflower shenanigans. That's right, this is the month of cauliflower on Love Cooks. We're wrapping up the month and we are going to go through and kind of um, go through some cauliflower dishes that I found on the internet that I don't even know what they are. Oh, and we're going to... Sarah's like, I just figured out what Brie is. Why are you making me play this game? Well, because that's what we do here. Embarrass people. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, okay, so Sarah, tell me about yourself. Introduce yourself to everyone. We want to know who you are, what you're up to. Uh, yeah, stuff. hi, I'm Sarah. And I have been in Nashville for 13 years. I love it here. Yay! Um, Basically, quit licking Sarah. That's weird. It's odd. No? Okay, kisses. that's sweet. That's sweet. Okay. Bigsby's glad I'm here. Yes, Bigsby. And I have our pink squirt bottle. This is our new dog obedience training trick. Squirt Bigsby with water if he gets out of control. Because we're going to have him at Ashley Real. But that's a good boy. Yeah, so Creative Souls is a community to inspire, equip, and challenge women to awesome. live above mediocrity. Awesome. Um, so what I found in my life is too often we right. get comfortable and mm -hmm. we um, we just like settle. And yeah, so yeah. it's just a community of women that come and support one another mm -hmm. and to just encourage them and push them to be whatever they want to be. So if you want to awesome. be a stay at home mom, that's great. But yeah. be the best stay at home mom you can be. Yeah. Be the best corporate um, person that you can be. You know, yeah. whatever area of life, be the best you because then you're a better wife, that. you're a better mother, you're a better friend. Yes. Um, so take care of yourself because you can't pour from an empty cup. Yes. So we host three events every single month. We do a, an, so awesome. a fitness event, mm -hmm. an inspirational, and then yes. something called hustle hours. Oh, so we on. focus on that mind, body, soul. So being a well rounded woman. And yes. Yeah. I love that so much. I love that Super so much. Fun. I need to come to like, I'm not the most fitness lady, but I've seen some of y'all's fitness events you do, and they're super approachable and yeah. really seem really fun. I need to come and check out one of those. You do. That'd be really fun. They are super fun, and we go to try it. out different studios, yes. and all of our information is on our website, creativesoulstribe.com, so Perfect. you can see everything, and I'm a planner, so it is planned out through December right now. Yes. Uh, we're already working on Q1. I love so it. So <laughs> we will have stuff up soon. So good. that way there are no excuse. You can put it in your planner. It's on the calendar. Good to go. Brilliant. And the biggest thing is we're having conference on 11-11. Oh, yay! It's coming and up. you're one of the speakers. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait. And Bigsby's obviously clearly really excited. <laughs> hey, bud, let's get off. But no, don't lick me in the mouth. That's weird. You always want to lick my tongue. Go. There you go. Just sit. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, Creative Souls Tribe Conference, November 11th. Yes. So exciting. Where can people go to get tickets? Tell me the info. Yeah. So all of the info is on our website. So actually, creativesoulstribe.com. And then okay. there'll be a tab that says conference. Cool. And then everything's listed there. We have 13 speakers. 13? And you're one of those. Oh, my goodness. And it's super exciting. And then if you want to look at the other tab where it says upcoming events, Yes. Everything is listed there. Conference is also under there. So Great. you can go Great. lots of different places and find out. Amazing. Y'all, it is the coolest to be able to live in a city like Nashville where these incredible women are making a huge difference in other women's lives just by engaging them and encouraging yeah. them to be themselves, their fabulous creative selves. I love that. Okay, so, so excited Sarah's here. Now let's get to the fun part. I, that was fun too, but this is kind of the more goofy part. Drum roll. <laughs> that was a horrible drum roll. Thanks, V. You're excited. Let's get it off. Okay. Cauliflower shenanigans. Here we so, go. Here we go. There we have combed the internet for the craziest cauliflower recipes I could personally come up with. And we're going to see if we can guess what they actually are. Okay, so here we go. Zero. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Bigsby's, Bigsby's going to be like, I choose that one. I'll swallow that. So just mix them up a little bit here. I promise I don't know what order they're in. I'm going to get you to pick one. Okay. Oh and we will discuss what it is. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Cauliflower kedgery. Ked kedgery. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally spelled K E D G E R E E. Kedgery. Kedgery. What do you think that is? Um, I feel like it's like a mixture of. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Kedgery is a French word for kedge, which means catch. <laughs> you catch the cauliflower and you make something with it. Yeah. I feel like it's like a cauliflower mash. Okay. I don't know why. Kedgery sounds like a mash. Like, yeah. Kedgery all your vegetables, everybody. <laughs> exactly. Look at 
Exactly. Okay, I think a mash is a good idea. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I think we'll go with a mash. But I'm that excited to great. see what the real answer the is. The real answer is. Yeah, we'll check that one out. But a Kedri. But okay. I know it's exciting for you too. Okay. Um, sit. Beautiful. Okay. Next up, I will pick one. Drum roll. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't do that. It excites okay, me. Yeah, oh, buddy. <laughs> There's any YouTube dog expert trainers out there that want to jump on a video and do some magic? We're open to it. Okay. Chocolate cauliflower cake with salted cinnamon caramel icing. Hmm. Now, I will say about this one, I did a cauliflower brownie recipe on the blog. And they were so good. And they, you didn't even really taste the cauliflower. Okay, all right, drum roll, next one. All right. Cauliflower protein bread. Oh. I think, I think that's good. You think that's good? Okay, yeah. yeah. I wonder how that's made. That's what I was gonna say. I don't yeah. know, you know, as a beginner, I don't know how to make it. You're the schooled baker of cauliflower. <laughs> but I feel like it could be good. Yeah. I think the problem that I've run into with some of those veggie bread situations, like they don't rise. They don't, yes, and they're like more like a flat bread, and so you mm -hmm. have to cook it really well, and then or it's like runny for some reason. Ew. Now I'm not like I'm so new to all this veggie baking game, mm -hmm. but like the ones I'm, it's like almost like eating it with a spoon, and you typically want your bread to be like hearty. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But if that one is, it could be great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it'd just be better as a crust. I could like see that. Like a pizza crust. Yeah, where it gets real crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We try it though. Yeah. We we'll totally eat it. We'll, we'll give it a thumbs up. We'll let someone else make it though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not us. <laughs> not us. Okay. Here we are. Cauliflower and raspberry cheesecake. Mm. Huh. Okay, now for some reason the idea of the cauliflower and the chocolate form doesn't like kind of appeals to me because I'm like okay it's got chocolate in it it's mm -hmm. got but with a cheesecake I don't know I just feel like it would be cl um, clumpy yeah and I like my cheesecake very smooth <laughs> you don't like your cheesecake chunky Sarah <laughs> so your go to texture it's not Darn. I was gonna feed you some chunky cheesecake <laughs> later <laughs> and I feel like that would be chunky and that weirds me out right plus with the chunk of the raspberry <laughs> maybe bumps down. <laughs> Thumbs down on that cauliflower dish. Okay. All right. Go, lady. Here we go. Here we go. Sloppy Joe cauliflower rice. I mean, I could see it because the sloppy joes are. It's all. It's sloppy and yeah. it's all just mixed together. <laughs> you know, good old Joe. He just slops some cauliflower together and put it out there. <laughs> so I feel like you can make it work. Yeah. You can mix it in. I don't know if I would want all cauliflower. Yeah. Like maybe like half and half. Yeah, I could to see cut that. down on. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this like brown mash of stuff. <laughs> like Kedri. Like okay. <laughs> a sloppy goat Joe Kedri is happening in this recipe. Um, and I'm with you. I think like the texture might be a little like if you have the texture of the meat with the like texture of the rice, like maybe it's a little different. I'm just used to eating man, which is really is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> As a kid, it was like on a white bun. Yes. That's what we ate. So no maybe wheat. that's why. No, oh yeah, this would be a little different. So, yeah. okay, I would eat it. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'll do it. We'll try it. Okay. All right. Let's do one more person. All right. Okay. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Maybe when I edit this, I can actually do like the sound where it's like da 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 da. We'll see. We do. Okay. Bacon burger cauliflower rice casserole. Now, I can get behind this. Yeah. I love a good southern casserole. Girl, casseroles. Oh. South. Oh. Put some cheese on it. Some bacon. <laughs> Nobody even knows. Nobody. <laughs> They're like, there's we some could, delicious goo in there, and I don't know what that is. We could have been eating rice casseroles or whole, I mean, cauliflower casseroles. <laughs> and not known it. Yeah. I'm like, Mom, is this poppy seed cauliflower? I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Tastes so like chicken to me. And I like anything with a burger. Yeah. I mean, sounds great. So I think bacon, burger, cauliflower. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for that one. All right, Sarah, my dear. Last one. Last one. Exciting. Timerick cauliflower buns. <laughs> Oh, fun. Okay. I was hoping we'd end on something fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But instead, we got the buns, the veggie buns. Maybe but once again, more. how do you make them? Because I like my buns fluffy yes. and soft. I feel like yes. these would be like paper thin. Right. Like, who wants a flat bun? You know, you want, <laughs> you want a fluffy bun. Yeah. You know, for your cauliflower burgers or whatever you're making. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on those. Let's, let's get a good, let's end on a good note. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pick one out. This one's gonna be good. Cheesy cauli bread. Yeah. yeah. Down with that. Cheese. Cheese, cauliflower, bread. Bread. Win, win, win. Win. <laughs> Triple win on the cheesy cauliflower bread. All right, my Sierra. My Sierra. My Sierra. <laughs> my, <Sarah. laughs> my prophetic Sierra. Sierra. Um, this is so much fun. It was. Thanks for you, having me. Oh my gosh. Sarah's a joy to be around. You guys gotta check her out. Um, so we can follow you on what's okay. Give everybody your Instagram, your website, one more time, all that fun stuff. Okay, so it's creativesoulstribe.com, and then also on ins or yeah, on Instagram, mm -hmm. it's at Creative Souls Tribe. So we're pretty easy to find. And look us up. Come on, love by. it. Okay, y'all. So from our kitchen to yours, our sofa to yours, sending you so much love and a very happy October. Mwah. Bye, guys.